guys, I'm Janet, on occasion, and uh, today we're playing another Total War Warhammer Battle replay. So, uh, as you can see, I've got the green skins, I'm against the dwarves, it's a grudge match. So, uh, yeah, if I show you, uh, I'm just going to speed things up now, because we've got a long way to walk. So, uh, I've got a front line of uh, Black Orcs, I've got five units of them, so incredibly formidable front line there. I've uh, also got one unit of trolls, um, I've got the uh, couple of goblin archers teamed up with the rusty arrows. So these guys will do the armor sundering, and then these guys are just cheap ways of doing even more damage, which is nice. Also, on the sides I've got some Savage Orcs, and uh, on the other side as well, both chevroned up to double silver. Not because, you know, I think that's a great tactic, but I had some money left over, and it turns out they're very cheap to chevron. So, um, I rolled with it. So, uh, hopefully they'll be surprisingly good. Um, but yeah, they're basically my flanking force, because they're much, much quicker than the uh, Black Orcs. And uh, obviously they've been led by an Orc Warboss on a Wyvern, with the Potion of Toughness. And I've also got a Night Goblin Shaman, who's got uh, Sneaky Stabbing and Itchy Nuisance. And then if we go over here, you can see I've got two units of squig herds, which are great, armor piercing, and uh, really mobile, and they're mental. So, um, great charges, lovely. So, uh, yeah, it'll be fun. They send people flying. So, uh, this guy, he's, he's gone right up on the hill. For some reason, he repostured his entire force to meet these squigs, which is a bit peculiar. Um, but, oh well. So, uh, here he's got a load of quarrelers, uh, with great weapons as well, so they'll be fairly good in melee, you know, against uh, Black Orcs. Not something to be relied upon in melee, but, you know, that'll help. That'll help if they get engaged. And uh, also he's got some Dwarf Warriors with great weapons. So a lot of cheap infantry with great weapons, basically. Uh, he's also got a couple of Slayers in case I had any cavalry, but I knew he'd bring Slayers, so I didn't bother bringing any. And uh, also he's got some more Dwarf Warriors with great weapons in reserve, and he's got a back line here of a load of uh, Miners with Blasting Charges, which is pretty cool. And then he's got two cannons on top of here, so good vantage point for them. And uh, he's also got Ungrim Iron Fist leading it. So, uh, you know, good anti-large, but there's not a lot of large things for him to deal with here. So, uh, you know, that's going to be tough. So really all I need to watch out for is the Slayers getting on my squigs. And, uh, but, you know, they're kind of glass cannons anyway, and they're fun just to charge in whenever. So, uh, so I'm trying to use them to get rid of these cannons, because these are worth like 800, these are 500. So if I can knock these out with my squigs, they've paid for themselves. And uh, also, you know, he's going to have to react, try and send some things over to deal with them, because, uh, you know, these cannons aren't going to be able to fight them off. So uh, now I'm starting to get in range, so uh, I realised the cannons were shooting at my trolls, so I literally just charged them straight in to start absorbing fire. I was hoping they'd last, you know, as long as possible, so all of his archers would be trained on them, and it would give these guys some respite to, to get in there. Uh, but Black Orcs are damn slow, so um, that's annoying. So um, I kept my uh, Orc War Boss to one side because I didn't want him getting any cannon fire or anything. And uh, I'll charge him in in a minute once the front line engaged, use war and all the rest of it. So I'm sending one unit of Savage Orcs over here just to try and keep you know these guys interested in guarding this flank. Uh, but mainly I'm going for this side and to pin them in the middle here a bit. So uh, you can see though these Black Orcs have suffered horribly and these are taking a pounding as well. So the, um, yeah, the cannons have pretty much paid themselves, I need to get rid of them quickly. So you see here, he moved up some Slayers, and he moved up these uh, Dwarf Wars Great Weapons to deal with these guys. Uh, he's also got some Quarrelers shooting at them, so it's a lot of resources spent trying to save his cannons. And uh, you'll see he does actually save one, but um, I don't stay in this fight, because I want to get in here and help. So uh, I send these Savage Orcs straight at the Miners, because I know they'll do well against the Miners, they're not heavily armoured. So, um, but it stops them throwing charges, so I can get my, uh, get my Black Orcs in here. Fortunately, these Black Orcs take an absolute beating, but, you know, they're only against Quarrelers, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. So, um, so now my Night Goblin Shaman is going to start using Itchy Nuisance um, on this group, because I want to I want to get rid of this flank as quickly as possible. Because if I can annihilate this flank, then uh, it won't be too hard to deal with these. And over here, these Savage Orcs will actually win in a fight against the uh, Dwarf Warriors of Great Weapons. A lot of their value is tied up in their armor piercing, and I don't have to worry about the armor piercing of the Savage Orcs, because they have no armor. So, um, yeah, so he sort of loses that advantage there. Um, so if he'd had these guys in the front line fighting the Black Orcs instead, he could have capitalized a lot more on them. Um, although, saying that, you know, the Miners with Blasting Charges, they do have um, Armor Piercing um, melee attacks. So uh, here you can see I actually charged my Squigs into the back of these guys, so they've been taken out nice and quick. Now though, Dwarf Warriors are great weapons, the great weapons will do well against the Black Orcs here. Um, well, not well, but, you know, cost effective, at least. So uh, I send the Orc War Boss back out, because I see he's got some Slayers, so I'm not going to bother, you know, trying to deal with them. And uh, so I've got some Savage Orcs here, they should do well against the Dwarf Warriors, you know, same same as they are over there. I mean, look at that, they're doing very well. So now he's finally starting to move these guys around, try and help. Um, I had him pretty pretty busy over here, which is good, that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, so yeah, these Black Orcs are knackered, but these are pretty fresh, and uh, they will do quite well against Ungrim. So, uh, so that's fun. 
So I am repositioning my squigs, because I didn't want them to sustain combat. So I'm going to send one up to try and get the cannon, and I'm going to send one to the back of these guys for a nice charge. So uh, you can see there, good charge in the back. That should help. But unfortunately, the squigs are a bit, you know, they tend to be a bit flighty. So, uh, oh well. So over here, he's got a lot of quarrelers, but none of them are focusing on my general. So I'm quite happy just to dive, you know, units with my general, try and finish them off, because uh, he's going to cause terror on that wyvern, so he can't help. So like you can see, they're terrified there. So he can help just route off, you know, the odd unit. So I'm using for sort of precision strikes here, while my black orcs try and hold the line. But I tell you, he's getting through my black orcs pretty damn well. Um, so yeah, my archers, they're doing pretty well. They're doing pretty well, just picking off, you know, one target at a time, similar to my, uh, similar to my wyvern. Yeah, I'll finally get these squigs into this healthy unit of uh, of uh, quarrelers, because I don't want these quarrelers to be shooting black orcs all day. It, the damage will add up. So, uh, you know. Also, over here, I've got some black orcs about to run, and I've got some other ones now. Good and sneaky stabbing, so they can help cut through these guys a bit quicker. But there are slayers in here, so it's only really ungrim. And these miners that I need to cleave through, but the black orcs don't really have a problem with that. But, you know, it helps a bit. Better melee attack, so they will hit more often. So that will be good against both ungrim and the slayers. So I move some more Black Orcs into the back. I'm trying to get some of these guys to break, but it's a pain in the ass. It's here, though. Bit of a mistake. Uh, he left his uh, Slayers idle in this fight. So I'm just concentrating on these guys, and I'm peppering these guys with arrows, which is fantastic, because they're just going to yeah, they're just gonna get killed without me really having to worry. So that's great fun. Uh, I didn't really need the armor sundering on them, but, you know, still more missile damage. So uh, here, yeah, these Savage Orcs still doing great against these Dwarf Warriors. So that's two units of um, anti-armor you know, of armor-piercing units that he could have used against the Black Orcs in the front here. He could have wiped out the Black Orcs pretty well, but instead he wrapped up two units fighting the Savage Orcs, which was a lost cause. So, uh, real pity for him. So, uh, a couple of couple of little mistakes. Also here, he's not bringing these guys back. Um, I'm not even sure if he's bothering to play anymore, because these guys are all facing the wrong way. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on. Yeah, I'm not even sure if he's still here at this point. Um, I think he thinks maybe that's, uh, that's game. But, oh well. So, Ungrim, absolutely knackered, so I didn't feel bad about sending the war boss in. He's taken no damage, and I still have a potion of toughness. So, there's no risk of me charging him in at this point. So, uh, here, everything else shatters. Um, I say GG to him. And uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't wait to see his slayers all get killed. So, uh, yeah. So, pretty decisive. Um, but, he did do a lot of damage. Some pretty vital units there. Um, but, with the amount of um, ranged units he had, I'm surprised he didn't try and keep pressure on my old war boss. Because... Yeah, the orcs just crumble if uh, you know if they've got no general. Their leadership is pretty terrible. And I mean, I mean, look at the health of these units. He did so much damage to these guys, and a lot of them didn't even get many kills. I mean, 23 kills with a unit of black orcs—that's terrible for me. So uh, pretty ridiculous. Uh, the goblin archers did a fair bit of damage. My squigs did great. They did a really good job. Uh, even the trolls actually got 36 kills because you know they got beaten up at the start, but they ran off. And by the time I brought them back in the fight, they'd regenerated most of their health again. Which is absolutely amazing. I love trolls for that. Because, you know, it's like bringing a spare unit back into the fight at the end. Unless you actually have, like, a load of slayers surrounding them and really kill the unit. Um, they will just come back really healthy and ready to fight again. Which is really good. Um, absolutely love trolls for that. Because, you know, orcs, you tend to have stuff running away and coming back all the time. But they're weaker every time they come back. Trolls, they're not. They come back, you know, with all their health. And the enemy are usually pretty tired by then. So, pretty useful. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty good one. Uh, one of his cannons did very well. That was a lot of Black Orcs killed by him. Again, quite a few there. So they did they did probably get the value out of them. Um, but the amount of other units they had to sort of commit to try and save them, um, that would have been useful on the front line. Also, the Dwarf Warriors are great weapons. They would have been much better served receiving the uh, the Black Orcs than sort of stood idle on the on his uh, left flank. So that's a pity. Um, his layers did do a fair bit of damage, though. They did do pretty well. Um... Yeah, so not a bad, not a bad pick, but that's not a huge amount of kills, and I, I reckon a lot of that was squigs and uh, savage orcs, but now oh well. So uh, yeah, and the miners of blasting charges, they didn't do a whole have a lot of damage really, um, which is a bit of a pity. Like against really elite infantry like black orcs, that armor piercing is not really going to get them far. Um, you know, having these guys sort of within you know groups of sort of dwarf warriors, are great weapons and things, so that would have been more useful. But um, yeah, using coral as a front line, that was that was risky. Um, but, you know, he did absolutely decimate my front line. So, pretty good going there. Um, but, you know, my general could have fought on for ages. Uh, my shaman was still great, so I was constantly popping off spells. And, uh, yeah, my trolls were still in great shape. I had, I still had a lot of assets. And these ranged units, really good against dwarves, because dwarves are so slow. So I can just keep running away, you know, diving on them with my orc war boss, turning around, shooting at them. And, you know, it could have been a real cat and mouse um, thing at the end if he'd managed to wipe out my front line proper. 
So, uh, yeah, look at those Savage also. 92 kills. That's fantastic. So, really good value, these guys. Um, they did cost me about 600 quid each, I think. Um, 650 maybe with the with the chevrons I think it was um, so they were quite expensive for savage orcs but they, they clearly did their job so uh, you know good on them and I think that about sums it up so uh, Sean Fullman uh, great game really enjoyed that and uh, yeah always great to have a grudge match absolutely love it so hopefully I'll see you on ladder again soon and uh, guys if you enjoyed this video comment like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one have a good day guys